We've got flying monsters now. I mean, what's better than just a normal monster? It's, it's obviously a flying one, right? Hey guys, this is Pur. Today's fine. Welcome back to Happy Room. Now today we're gonna check out some of your awesome viewer suggestions. Now a lot of you guys, and I mean wow, a lot of you guys suggested that I should place a ton of ice guns all across the room, and I have a feeling why you guys suggested that. Now in addition to all of the ice guns, I've got a couple of maces to keep him in place, and of course a bunch of jump pads that are gonna bounce him all over the place. So let's freeze this guy in three, two, one, go! Freeze him over everyone. There we go. Oh, that is actually pretty nice damage. Look at that. I mean, these ice guns are really damn powerful. I mean, look at that. 6,000 damage right off the bat. And we still have, like, if we can go over to the left side, that would be really nice. Come on, go to the left side. I know you can do it. That's the wrong way. But oh, actually, there's some more ice guns there too. Go to the left side. Yes. I mean, the right side. What am I saying? We unlocked something. Zero gravity as well as the laser gun. Okay, is that it? I think that's it. No way, he's not done yet. We also got a mini laser. Oh boy, we got a whole bunch of awesome stuff. So let's go ahead and see if we've got... Okay, so there's the laser, which looks pretty damn cool to me. And then we also have the zero gravity. What the hell is this? Okay, well, let's place this guy over here and then place the zero gravity unit down. And we also have a mini laser. Oh, I guess that's kind of... Oh, wait. Uh, wait, what? Oh, it's kind of like the Tesla thing. Oh, that's pretty cool. So let's put a few more mini lasers down. Kind of similar to a way that we did with the Tesla one. And then we're gonna check out what the zero gravity thing is gonna do. Because I'm, I'm pretty damn curious to see what that's gonna do. Okay, here we go. Did one go? Okay, it doesn't do a whole lot, does it? What does it do? I don't understand. But the lasers are cool though. Look at all the lasers. Fantastic. But the, but the zero gravity, I, I don't... I have no idea what it does. It just kind of sits there doing... Nothing, I guess. And these lasers also don't really deal a whole lot of damage. I mean, this is all coming from the ice guns that you suggested. But we are burning his ass. We are freezing him at the same time. I mean, it, it is pretty nice, but the mini laser... Probably not a great deal, okay? So let's actually clean everything. And then place down a few of these zero gravity things. Because I'm curious to see what it actually does, okay? So it does pretty much... It, it, it makes him fly a little. Is, is that it? That's really lame. <laughs> Now you guys didn't just suggest the ice guns, you also suggested that I upgrade the... Where is it at? The axe. So now it has two blades. Oh, should we upgrade it again? To three blades? That would be insane. Now wait, we're gonna keep it this way because we have to upgrade some other things as well. One of the things is the mines. Allows you to place mines on the center wall and then also on the ceilings. Now I don't think we have to place it on the ceilings, okay? Because if we wipe everything and we grab the mine, now we can place it pretty much all over the place. I mean, these things only cost 75. So, oh my gosh, we can place a hundred of these things? More than a hundred, that's crazy! It's gonna take a while to put it on the wall, but you know what? This is art, okay? Actually, I just, I just kind of realized something. What if we, what if we write something down? Now, I'm gonna write something right now, and I want you guys to post a comment right now and tell me what you think I'm gonna write with these mines. Okay, so here's an example. This is the number one, okay? We can write like this. Leave a comment, what do you think we are gonna write right now? So if you have placed your comment, here we go. We are gonna write the word now. I think it is a pretty easy guess, okay? I think you guys know what it's gonna be, right? It starts with the P, R, O. Actually, I need a whole bunch more R's because Project Jason 5. <laughs> I know it's kind of cringy that I'm writing the name of the channel, but I mean, it's relatable, okay? And it doesn't even freaking fit on the screen. So let's put like James over here, I guess. And then we are gonna play- oh, this is just terrible. This looks like nothing. No one can read this. This is like Braille. Okay, it's fine. We've got a whole bunch of these mines on the floor. I mean, on the wall, actually. Here we go in 3, 2, 1. Let the booming begin, okay? Oh my gosh, that is actually a lot of booming. These explode quite violently, actually. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. Except that our strategy of doing it with the name is- it's bad. It's really bad. <laughs> I should have probably placed these in an order that makes a little bit more sense. But you know what? It's fine. We can fix this. With a few little jump pads. Okay, here we go. Come on. He cannot go down now. There should be plenty of boomings. Oh my gosh, this actually deals a hell of a lot of damage. Whoa, look at that. 8,000 already. Piranhas and shuriken. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, this looks terrible though. He lost all of his limbs. Oh, I can't even look at this. That is disgusting. Oh my god, number six. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Piranhas, 375. Okay, let's wipe it. Let's see what this is. I mean, what the hell is this? It's like a bubble with fish in it. 
That's gotta be one of the strangest things I have ever seen, but you know what? We're gonna fill the room with it. We're gonna see what they do, okay? Okay, they kind of eat him. Oh, and the water turns red from his blood. You know what? That's a pretty funny thing, but I don't think it's a pretty good thing. <laughs> Let's quickly check out what these shuriken and laser guns do. I don't think it's gonna be too exciting. You know, okay, it's pretty nice, but it's not like overwhelming, okay? I actually forgot that we upgraded the axes. I mean, we have to make use of that, right? These are axes. We should use these guys. So I want them to get chopped up like that and then chopped down and then chopped up again. Is, is that how this is gonna work? Let's just see if this is gonna work. Okay, completely biggest fail ever. This should work though. Here we go. Oh, that's pretty nice. That's not too bad, that's the beginning, okay? So we switch this one around and we place a whole bunch of these other axes down here. Now my idea is that we can use the portal actually. And we can place one portal right over, like right over here I guess. And then have one come out the back here. Now he should get chopped up all the time, okay? That's gonna be for our X quest. We need that X quest, come on! Okay, the plan is working. But he's not getting chopped up as much. Not as much at all. But that's okay because we can solve all of our problems. With just a few more axes. This one chops downward. That, that's gonna be the idea, okay? We're gonna have a bunch more that chop down. This is it. Here we go. What a beautiful thing this is. It's like an X mill, you know? He, he gets pushed through. Little mill with all the axes. This is perfect. We can just leave this, I guess. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Oh, no. The plan failed. The plan failed miserably. We had a loophole, boys, and they figured it out. We're going for the level 40 quest, the highly explosive pinball. This should be... Okay, wait a minute. No, wait, it's it's fine, okay? We upgraded the block, and I put four of those grenade launchers on there. Now, that should give us the edge to actually have him explode on all these ricochets. Is that possible like this? I'm not entirely sure. Pretty sure that he has to be on, like, the floor for this to actually work, but... I mean, how does this work with the ricochet? Three grenades ricochet off X and hit dummy. Okay, you know what? I should probably just read the entire quest before we even start it, okay? That means we have to remove a few of these jump pads as well as a few of these stakes. That's gonna give us enough money to actually put down an X. And I think this should be it, okay? This should be plenty. I'm gonna rotate this one over there and then the jump pads are gonna launch him to the left side. I mean, yeah, to the left side. Now he has to be hit on the same spike. Also, I think... But first, here's one ricochet. Come on, can we get another one? There's another one. We need one more. Come on. We can get one more ricochet, right? No? Oh, come on. Why are we so close every single time with these damn grenades? Okay, we're going for the ricochets. Shoot on the X. And then the grenade hits the X and then the, and then the dummy, I guess? That should give us an edge, okay? That should give us the quest. One more. There we go. That's another quest in the pocket. Now, I want to move on to the next quest, which is tear off the dummy's limbs, which is an acid. That's... that's... Pretty brutal. In order to do that, we are gonna place a hell of a lot of these X things. And of course, we will need a lot of the acid guns. Just a few more jump pads to keep him in the right direction. Just in case he goes flying all over the place, alright? And we will also need our upgraded little block. I'm pretty excited about upgrading this. I mean, you can place... Okay, if, if you place it correctly, like this. You can actually place four guns on there. Look at this. Fantastic! Now, just because these ice guns are so unbelievably powerful, we are gonna place those as well and maybe grab a little bit more damage in the process, all right? Just place them all over the place. I don't really care about the ice guns right now. It's about the acid and then we have to chop off his head. No, wait, a limb. There we go, that's it. That's pretty easy. But man, the damage is nuts on this one. Look at this, he's kind of stuck up in there. That is pretty damn cool and I like the sound. Activate zero gravity four times. How about we do it 40 billion times? That, that should be plenty, right? Here we go, that's one, two, three, four. Bang, easiest quest of my life. Moving on to the next one. Okay, the next one is 10 seconds in zero gravity, guys. I think we can do 10 hours in zero gravity like this. Easiest quest ever. Here we go. Let's make it in one go. That, sh that should be possible, right? Come on. Don't tell me that he's gonna drop now. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Go up, go up. Don't fall. There we go. Another quest in the pocket. 10 monsters in zero gravity. Oh, guys, that could be a wombo combo. Who cools that? Okay, let's place a whole bunch of these monsters down. Now remember, last time we used the monsters, they actually got set on fire by some of the fire guns, which was kind of like a wombo combo. Let's see what happens if we put them in zero gravity. I don't think... Oh, they actually go flying. Oh, that's pretty cool. We've got flying monsters now. I mean, what's better than just a normal monster? It's, it's obviously a flying one, right? Keep 10 monsters in zero gravity for 30 seconds. How, how are we gonna do 30 seconds, though? That's pretty damn long. I mean... We, we, we can't do that. Guys, we've got more money 
And I've also upgraded the ice gun, okay? It, it cost us one euro, but it should be worth it. This thing should be even more powerful right now, which... I mean, that would be insane. I can't wait to see what this is gonna do. And because we have more money, we can also place a hell of a lot more down. So let's put down the jumpers. I don't think we're gonna have enough for maces, but that's fine because we got the jumpers anyway. Here we go. They're gonna fire longer and they're gonna fire better. Now, I'm not sure what better means, but oh my gosh, we just blasted past 11k. That is fantastic. Now, we could have done a little bit of a better job, I know, but we're gonna clean it. We can come back to that later because we have got a gravity gun. Now, I'm not entirely sure what this is gonna do. It, it looks pretty cool, but other than that, I am not entirely sure what it's gonna do. So, let's place down a few more uh, jump pads, as we like to do usually, so that it gets jumped all over the place. Here we go. These are the gravity guns. Okay, that's pretty cool, actually. So, he kind of flies around. It, it really doesn't deal a lot of damage, though. It really does... Oh, whoa. Where did he go? That was, that was a bit random. <laughs> Okay, that's it for the gravity guns. Next suggestion comes from Yoshi Game, who says, Fill the room with fire, ice and grenade guns. So that is exactly what we have done right here. Let's see if this is gonna trigger some sort of like a wombo combo maybe. I mean, it's dealing a lot of damage, but that's probably all of the fire, I mean the ice gun damage. Although I have upgraded the fire guns. They, they should like deal a little bit more damage. Oh, we got a new plasma gun. I'm not entirely sure what that means, but... Oh, are we gonna... Oh, and rocket as well. Plasma gun and rocket. Okay, those sound pretty damn nice to me. Let's see, the plasma gun. Can we actually... Let's let's place a few down. See what this... Oh my, it's a big gun though. Holy crap, look at that. Place them on either side. Just like that, real quick. Because I just want to check them out real quick, okay? Just to see what they do, alright? Oh! And they kind of fire him like that. Well, that's pretty nice. So the plasma gun is pretty cool. But let's place a whole bunch of these rocket launchers. See what these are capable of. Alright, they, they shoot little rockets. I guess that was to be expected, but it's pretty cool because they seem like they have, you know, those homing missiles. They seek out that target. That's pretty damn nice. Next suggestion comes from Licky123 who says, Plasma guns only and everywhere on ceilings, floors and sides. Now, in order to do that, we will have to upgrade it. We can now place them everywhere. And they also have, I believe, 50% more damage or more ammunition. I'm not entirely sure what the 50% was, but I didn't really care about that, okay? I just want to place them all over the place, which is amazing. All right, the room is filled. With these plasma guns, okay, I'm banking on a big time plasma damage. I've also added some jump pads over to the left side. So he should go to the right, like all the time, every time. So that these guys over in the in the right side, okay, it's, it's not really working out, I don't think. Because these guys on the right side, they should actually be shooting as well. Oh wait, here we go. That was, that was kind of the plan, I guess, but it didn't entirely work out. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do it this way, okay? We're gonna place the portal over here, and he's gonna come out that way. And we're gonna place some more plasma guns, I guess. And that should be it, okay? This should give us the maximum amount of damage when it comes to the plasma gun. There he goes, that's the first one. Okay, that was really fast. I did not expect him to go down so fast. I mean, they're all firing at him. That's, that's kind of the point. I think he lost his head as well. That would be pretty bad. I mean, I mean, that's not bad. We, we have to learn, okay, that this is about killing the guy. And it should be fine to kill him. But is he gonna go the other way? Is that even possible? What if they shoot him up the blue one? That would be, that would be really strange. Now, guys, we're gonna end this video with a big bang. And by big bang, I mean a lot of not-so-big bangs that are gonna form together as a really big bang, okay? A little bit like the fireworks on New Year's Eve, you know, or wherever you live, the 4th of July. Also, a lot of beautiful fireworks. That's what we're all about, okay? Explosions in games, things go boom, that's, that's what makes us happy, okay? That's what's fun. We've actually got one new item to take a look at. It's called the Disco. It's not a Disco Ball, it's it's literally just a Disco. So can we, like, place it down? I, I, I don't know what this does, though. I don't think it does anything. It literally does nothing. It's just a, it's just a Disco Ball. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please do a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next Project Days video.